You've heard it all over the news. There's a genocide going on in Gaza and Israel has cut off the water and the power. So not true. Israel is building a new electrical supply system on their dime to increase the power into Gaza. They're building it because guess who blew up the last power lines going into Gaza? You know it, Hamas. You know, I, I told you about this a couple months ago and you didn't believe me, or at least you were stunned. Israel announced last night they're boosting their exports of electricity into Gaza so that the desalinization plant there can run at very, very, very high speeds without interruption. So there's an extra abundance of water. In addition to the water that Israel's importing into Gaza, they're now upping the power supply, I'm looking at pictures, we're going to put these on the uh, site with this show, building power lines going into the Gaza Strip, brand new power lines coming from the power plant on the Israeli side of the border so that there can be extra power for extra water. And as you mentioned, who's paying for this? Israel's paying for it. Not the Palestinians, not Hamas, not the but UN. How dare they do this, Barry? Aren't they doing genocide? Now, if they're doing genocide, they're not doing it very well. Yeah, they suck at the genocide <laughs> thing, don't they? I mean, they really are. Oh, here's, we're going to do genocide, but here's some more water. We're going to increase the water intake so you can have more water flowing into the to this area, to this region of the of our country, our nation here. So here's here's some more water, but we're going to do genocide. Now, I guess they're going to come back. Oh, they're putting something in the water. You know, they probably come back, but after showing Hamas dumping bags of bags of, you know, acid or something into the water. Oh, the, look what the Israelis did to us. Well, I, I got to add, when I brought this up a couple months ago, Israel had opened up another power supply and it got blown up by Hamas. They didn't want Israeli power coming in to power the desalinization plant and keep the lights on. So well, Hamas blew up the power poles. Well, you know what, Barry, I, I mentioned this once time before that I believe that w the reason why Hamas is doing that, you know, just like I mentioned that they probably put something in the water to make people sick and say Israel did it. They Israel start up this power plant so they can have more electricity, more energy because they're going to need it. Right. And they go and blow up the, the, power, the power plant so they can't produce more energy for them. They want people to be miserable. They want people living in misery because if you have people there and if you have a group of people that you're basically controlling or over and they're happy, they're successful, they have jobs, they're making money, they don't need you. They want you to feel miserable. They want you to feel pain. So then that way they can give you a cause to fight against. And then while they're the ones doing all of it, they lie to the people and say it's Israel doing it. It's a manipulation game. Well, listen, listen to this, how, how, how much Israel's saving them. The desalinization plant before the new power supply gets hooked up is producing 1,500 cubic meters of water a day. When Israel gets done with the upgrade, it's going to go from 1,500 to 20,000. Israel's paying for it. No charge. Are they going to get any credit? No. no they're going to and get blamed I for genocide. wonder how long it's going to take for some imbecile to blow up the power lines again. Yeah, yeah again. You know what, Barry? And I've said this before, too. Maybe Israel should just cut it all off. But if they cut it all off, then that gives Hamas exactly what they want, too. So Israel, excuse my language here, damn that they do, damn that they don't. I mean, it is what it is. And look, when you have a group of people that's wanting to destroy you, I mean, go ahead and let them say that they're doing this to you. I guess, but you know, I guess in a, in a sense, Barry, since they're setting all this up, they I'm, I would imagine that they have cameras showing Hamas blowing all this up. And then when the world community come back around and say, well, they they blew everything up. Well, we gave it to them and they blew it up. But you know what? The United Nations, they're not going to even care about those videos. They're going to say, oh, those were actually Israelis doing that. Israelis blew it up to make it look like Hamas because Hamas, they're freedom fighters. Well, Hamas actually bragged about blowing it up the first time. Right. And, but, and but they, Barry, they, they, they bragged about... Drone. They had the rocket coming from Hamas. Yeah. 
but they bragged about killing all of the Israelis on October 7th. And now you even turn have their turn around. You got stupid idiots, even with the video footage showing that Hamas was doing it. You got these stupid people out there saying, no, it was it didn't even really happen. Oh my god, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You're right.